Hey guys, what is going on? This is Deadly, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the skill trees. But before I continue, I just want to mention that I do plan on making videos on all of the current physical skills in Escape from Tarkov. Um, but we will be kind of covering a few of them, primarily metabolism, um, health, and strength in this video. But I will most likely be doing like a well-scripted video on and just kind of keep it short and sweet on strategies on how to effectively strength train uh, and while also working on your metabolism and your health as well. So. Uh, basically, the goal here is I wanted to increase my strength to the maximum level in order to benefit from increased running speed and jump height. Uh, it would allow me to jump to locations where other players are unable to get to on their own or that usually require a boost from another player. For example, the customs checkpoint. Whenever I kill a sniper, I can actually jump up there my, uh, my, by myself and access that loot without having, having to have rely on another player to boost me. Same thing with the, shot, the rocks on shoreline. I can jump on those rocks where the sniper scav is, no problem, on my own now, where a regular player would not. And lastly, you get also increased melee attack damage. So you get increased speed, increased jump height, and increased damage, making hatchet runs incredibly entertaining. So you're probably wondering how exactly was I leveling my strength? Well, there's currently a number of ways of doing it. Uh, primarily, like the most obvious one is throwing grenades. Every single time you throw a grenade, you get some strength experience. However, this could be costly. You can blow yourself up. Uh, you can make a lot of noise and you can die. Um, but it is a very effective way of leveling up your strength. And there's also currently an exploit or glitch in the game that allows you to obtain a lot of strength experience by simply throwing a grenade. But that is going to be patched within the next week or two. So one effective strategy that thanks to Blue Pike, he fed me this idea that you have tea bags, which are the smallest backpacks in the game. And just like in the early days of Daisy standalone, you can actually put backpacks inside of backpacks. And the cool thing about a tea bag is it actually fits inside your gamma container. So the idea was to collect as much tea bags as possible and stack them together until I weighed more than the allowed carry weight because one way of obtaining strength experience is by playing the game while weighing more than you're allowed to carry which become basically becoming overburdened and whenever you complete tasks like sprints and jumps while you're overburdened you gain strength experience at a pretty alarming rate. Just for an example, I was able to get from 43 strength to 51 maximum strength in only about 8 hours or so. So as you can imagine, it's an extremely effective way of leveling up your strength. But not only that, uh, you also gain health experience whenever you're doing anything that generates strength. You're just going to get it at a lower rate. So currently in the game, I have 51 strength and I have level 44, just about 45 health. Now. Every single time that you maximize um, a skill, you also get a perk. But this video isn't about that. This video is just leveling up skills in general. And I will have separate videos in the, down the road explaining uh, the most effective way of getting those skills and what all the perks are at the end. But essentially, my plan was to try to effectively farm strength, health, and metabolism all at the same time while playing the game kind of normally. So what I would do was I would enter a raid with my tea bags and my gamma container and a little bit of extra supplies and I would kind of play it slow looking specifically for food because the way you gain metabolism experience is by eating and drinking the food that you find in the game. Now I don't know if you gain additional experience if you let your energy get lower and your hydration get lower. So far from what I can see you just gain experience no matter what. So I would go on shoreline and loot as many buildings as I could for food, jackets, um, look for like safes and computer parts. And by the time I was done looting all of those buildings, uh, I was actually able to have the whole game to myself where I could spend a little bit of extra time uh, jumping around, getting strength experience and rinse and repeat. And not only that, I was able to make it out of some raids with a lot of gold chains and loot that people seemed to glass over. And I never even realized how amazing the two houses on shoreline, the two estate houses, we call it combat bunker, 
um, are. I never really bothered exploring them too deeply, and there's lots of safes, gun safes, uh, computers. You can get some amazing loot from those houses, uh, which can be sold to make you a lot of money. So I was kind of kicking some ass, to be completely honest, getting that strength, gaining that health, getting that metabolism, making some money, and getting some good PvP moments. And that is why I'm kind of making this video, because if you guys are looking for things to do, uh, I would definitely start looking into leveling up your skills because it is definitely worth it. Um, just for an example, um, I'm going to be including runs with guns, um, like to show you guys what it's like to, to kind of run around with some maxed out skills. But just to showcase the power uh, of maximum strength, uh, I'm going to be including uh, some hatchet runs. Uh, in this video. I know what you're saying, you've probably seen dozens and dozens of videos before uh, as a hatchling, but th this is a little bit different. Like, I am running 100% faster than other players. I am hitting 30% harder than other players, and I can jump 25% higher than other players. So, it gets a little insane. Um, and like I said, guys, expect a full detailed guide coming in the next couple weeks for not just strength, but for health, metabolism, endurance, stress resistance, and vitality. I'm still learning some good farming methods and strategies for some of the other skills, but if there's anything good, uh, I will definitely be sharing those with you guys. And if you have any ideas, I'm specifically looking for vitality uh, farming guides. Um, and anything along those lines. If you guys know some good ways of farming vitality that isn't standing in the fire on shoreline, because that's we've kind of tested that, and that's more that's that's actually good for stress resistance. It's not so good for vitality. So that one's going to be a little bit different. But the rest of the skills are pretty straightforward. So, anyways, guys, enjoy the power of full 51 leveled strength. It's pretty insane. Yo, Arxy, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Can we get some of that deadly love hype? There it is! There it is! Dude! Holy shit, that's it! Dude! We just got it! We just got maximum... Maximum strength! Holy crap, man. What a journey. Only backpack weight is counted. That's the only elite perk that I get here. It's kind of, it's kind of minimal. It's kind of minimal, but what we really want is the jump height, the melee strike power, the sprint speed, the 100% increased sprint speed, 50% increased throw distance. There it is. Whoopsie daisy! Not dealing with that shit. I nope the fuck out of there. This is even faster, I would say. As I do if a suppressed Keter camping on top. I swear to God, if that dude's Keter's glitched, I'll be really disappointed. So I'm just gonna continue to mind my own business. And he's still, he's still ripping it. Ah, oh, shit, okay. I'm gonna keep the solo out here. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Well. There's our answer. Where is this guy? I'm gonna miss it.
That just happened, chat. That just fucking happened. Dude, I just neoed that guy. No way! Oh, <laughs> dude! Best hatchet run of my life! And also to expand a little bit more on that, so you've seen two examples of the hatchet run in the factory. I could probably make an entire video of just fucking some people up. But you're also able to run faster so you can hit the scavs a lot easier because you can kind of run up to them before they can really react. And as you can see there, if you can jump from side to side, you can effectively dodge bullets a lot easier than you normally would, allowing you to get a nice clean hatchet kill. Uh, but that doesn't just extend to the hatchet. I mean, just being able to move around the world is a whole lot easier and feels a lot better. I'm able to move a lot faster in firefights too. Even whenever I'm not full sprint, my normal walk speed is increased, uh, which allows me to move around uh, without making as much noise faster than other players can. So there's a whole lot of benefits, basically, to working on your skill set. And I think strength is obviously, in the current state of the game, the most important skill that you can work at. Uh, and I believe um, metabolism is also important because without it, uh, you will actually end up losing and forgetting your physical skills at a faster rate. Because although in Escape from Tarkov you gain soft skills, you also lose soft skills. So although you'll most likely still be around level 50 to 51 for a very long time, you still are going to have to periodically train or just play uh, overburdened to get that health and strength experience to keep you having those maximum perks. But anyways guys, I hope this opened your eyes to some different ways of playing the game and also some different things that you should probably be focusing on now that we know that there won't be a, pat, uh, a wipe with the new recent patch that's going to be coming out that's going to be coming way later. So it's going to give us a lot more time to dive deeper into the character and skill trees and figure out the most effective way of gathering them. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the skill system in the comment section below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow for some more Escape from Tarkov and Daisy.